This episode is brought to you by the Public Investing app. Use the link in the top comment to get up to $73 in free stocks. You already know, no payment for order flow, and we don't like leaving free money on the table. So sign up for Public, use the link in the top comment. I'll see you over there. And that's the official app of the 26-week challenge where I challenge you to get up to $5,000 before October following our specific plan. I see you over there. Hit the public link in the top of the comment. Now, let's get it. Without further ado, this is not financial advice. I just hope a bunch of other miss, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now, check it out. First banger on the list is Viru. Now, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell Viru. Actually, we talked about Viru back in 2020, in December. Specifically, you know I got the receipts on December 10th, when this was $5.61. But I do want you to understand this. This thing has been asleep for a long, long time. And now it's starting to wake up. And you want to ask yourself, what's going on with this play? And I've been requested time and time again to speak on whether or not this play is going to continue to boom and what are the factors that could bring it back down or not and how are the big dogs playing it. I got you. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Let's get it and let's get it right now. Viru is currently $14. It's basically up 5% on a day. It's up 231% on the week, so it's been going crazy. And it's up 53% in the past year. So you already see something kind of funny there, right? Where it's up 231% in the last week, but it's up 51% in the last year. What does that sound like? That sounds like a huge spike, and then it came back down. It cooled off some, right? But let's get to some of the details. Wall Street is actually pumping this. I want the first red flag in your head to go off, right? It says... Wall Street is growing more bullish on the biotech prospects. They said that this one surged 43% on Wednesday following positive analyst commentary. Wall Street has analysts and they're saying, oh yeah, this one is going to pump. And then the people are saying, okay, let's go and see if this is in actuality and if it's going to happen and basically materialize into some real gains. And a lot of people have made money here, but you got to understand plays like a viru remember i'm not telling you to buy hold or sell but you got to understand that the way the big dogs the institutions the millionaires the billionaires the people who are probably trillionaires behind closed door but they'll never let you know it how are they playing it they are basically swinging this one and then they're gonna let retail hold the bag and i'm not telling you don't play it but i want you to get in get up and then make your money like i always say get in get up and get out you know what time it is check it out let's go to the rest of the details viru stock this is some of the news on Thursday, it still shot up like crazy. And what's happening? They said Viru is in the development of a pandemic treatment for already hospitalized patients. So not preventative, but people who are already there and they are already suffering to a point that they had to be hospitalized, right? So it says this, let's get to the data, let's get to the receipts. It says that Viru is to apply to the US FDA for emergency use authorization. So. If what they have is so effective, what will happen is the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, who basically gives the green light and they you heard of FDA approval and all these kind of catalysts, what they do is they say, okay, it's doing way more good than it's doing harm. And then they'll supercharge and basically say, boom, it's authorized. So then they will be able to sell a lot of their products, a lot of these cures or treatments that they have over there. And people are trying to ride that wave on the momentum, right? Let's check this out. When you look at the drug, it says that it resulted in a 55% reduction in deaths compared to a placebo. A placebo meaning basically a sugar pill or a water pill with nothing in it. So it's having what appears to be tangible results. But does this mean you should go invest into it? Make sure you do your own research. I'm just telling you the facts so you can be the judge. Check it out. I want to show you some things that will give you a clue as to how the big dogs are playing it. When retail investors buy, yeah, we make waves, right? Because there are a lot of us. But oftentimes, retail investors are not always moving in unison. And we're not lockstep together where we making it all happen at once, right? You've seen that with GameStop earlier in the last few years. You've seen GameStop basically run up because the retail investors was all moving in the same direction. But with a lot of these other stocks, some are swing trading it. Some are trying to long-term hold it all of a sudden. Some are trying to scalp it. Some are running the options. They're not all running it the same way. So then it's hard for us to move as an individual, right? Because we are all just individuals, not an individual organization. So then it can happen, but it's not always likely. So I want you to be cautious with these kind of things. But let's check out how the big dogs are playing it and one of the biggest clues is the volume the volume tells the story 
Look at this. And what does volume mean? It means how many trades were made today? I mean, buys and sells. Add them all up. How many trades were made today? When you look back uh, April 11th, you'll see that there was 351 million trades just on that single day. Look at the very next. And notice that that candle is green, crazy green. This is the first candle on the right that you see a huge green candle right to the right of the arrow. It's the first one. So we got green, red, green, red. Let's cover these so we can see what's going on with the volume. If the volume is dying down, this means the momentum is dying down. Check it out. The first one, November or not November, April 11th, basically crazy volume, 351 million. And then who is this? This is largely the market makers. This is largely the big institutions who are making these waves because they're trading high amounts. And then you got the very next day, it dropped from 350 all the way down to 90. And then it was red. It was red, it was red, it was red. And then what are they doing with you family? They're basically pumping it up one day, selling it on you the next day. You can make money on the way up, you can make money on the way down and they're doing both but they're taking it a step further which i'll tell you when we get to the next phase of this video so we went from 351 to 90 million in volume so the volume dropped and then the price dropped with it and then the next day you got up oh, the volume doubled you got 187 million what is going on here again the market makers the people in the background wall street they are playing games and taking money away in my opinion from the retail investors now Let's keep it going. So you got 350, then you got 90, up and then down and then up again. And then you see it just today, basically on the 14th of 177. So the volume, you could argue is staying flat or it is reducing. When you see the volume come down a lot, this is the sign that I want you to use to then understand that, okay, this play is losing some momentum. This doesn't mean that you can't make money on the way up or on the way down. What this means is that you have to take the time and say, okay, if I'm running up with it, this is my price target. This is the when I'm gonna sell it, this is the point. Or if it's coming down, I'm only letting it go down 10%, then I'm out. I could always jump back in lower, right? I want you to have these ideas in mind when you're playing a swing trade like this. Do not treat Viru like it's Apple. Do not even treat it like it's AMC or GameStop. Don't treat it like these other kind of plays because it's not exactly the same. It has to come with an individual strategy for this individual play. I want to show you what the big dogs are doing, but again, I wanna give a shout out to the Public Investing app. Hit the link in the top comment so you can use Public. I wanna give them a major shout out because they're not using that payment for order flow and they're not feeding these institutions the same way that you know what a lot of these other platforms happen to be doing now join the public app the link is in the top of the comment but let's talk about how the big dogs are playing this one look at this fintel.io you could look as recently as basically all the way at the top on the left you can see we got april 14th right we have the 13 f filings and you have a few different institutions the first one is cutler group Notice on the right, I put it in a red rectangle for you and they run in a call option and a put option. There are two ways that they could be going about this. Let's say that they're running a call and that means they're trying to make money, a lot of money on the way up. Why are they also running a put? There's a few different ways you consider this, but oftentimes what institutions do is again, one of two things. They run a call or a put and they use the other one to hedge against the main position. So if they're running a call and they want the call to run up, and you know what, what if they're wrong? Then the put option that they have will print on the way down. So then they don't really lose. But there's another strategy that they're very likely to be using in something that's extremely volatile like this. And it's called a straddle option. I say that again for those of you in the back. It's called a straddle option. This is when you expect a crazy drop or a crazy run. So then you buy a call option and a put option with the same expiration date with the same exact strike price. And what's gonna happen is one of them is gonna go straight to zero. One, either your call or your put is gonna go to zero. But the one that went in the right direction, it's gonna make so much money that it totally cancels out and goes beyond all of the money you lost on the other one. So for example, if you buy a call option and you buy a put option and then this thing goes crazy and it's shooting up, then your put option is gonna go to zero but your call option is gonna make you so much money that it's going to counter all of the money you lost in the put and totally cover it plus and beyond. You gotta realize that they are not the only institution playing like this. You can look on the bottom, I got another rectangle down here. You got another institution running a call and a put. I want you to be on the lookout because Wall Street is pumping this and then they're playing it both ways, family. And I don't want you to get caught in a crossfire. If you get into this kind of a play, make sure you have a plan. This is your profit target where you will sell it. And this is where you will cut out at a certain loss. You're basically risk tolerance. Have those two in place. Now, 
let's look at we another reason that we know Wall Street's pumping this. And they got the price targets on $29, right? 95% from where it is now, right, for next year. So again, be on the lookout. Here goes some support levels and resistances for you. 17, this gives you the idea that you're trading against an algorithm, family. This is 17 flat, not $17.01. This is a resistance line, not $17.05, right? Not $16.99. This is 17 flat. You were trading against robots. So you got to understand that. Wall Street, that's how they play. And then look at this. You got a support basically at six at $9.60, and then you got the floor basically at $4. Again, make sure you're playing this one right. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. But if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds. Again, I love y'all. Take care.